Uh, like she said, I'm Josh McGee. I'm not actually a student at Eastern. I'm a student at Lakeland, uh, which is really cool because they open it up to everybody. So uh, this first poem is called Transition Means. I think you'll kind of get what I'm saying as I go through the poem. As time goes on, I've come to find that my most effective means of expression is no longer what it used to be. Once I thought that my pencil pushing pretty pictures from my sketchbook was my catalyst for the emancipation of my emotional constipation, but my spirit is no longer satisfied with my innate ability to act as human copy machine or conduit for creative thought. I've discovered that homeostasis is an illusion. Like the horizon, it's an imaginary line that recedes as you approach it. I've discovered that my internal equilibrium remains tilted and I increasingly become more dysfunctional with each passing day unless my pencils start hitting paper and I start leaving incandescent footprints in the sand dunes of my mind, ensuring that I can see my way through the whirlwinds of my internal conflict. As long as I can see my footprints, I can think my way out. My words become successive hits of true serum in injected directly into the artery connecting my body to my third eye. My newfound use for my pencils to create art and expression have calmed my tumultuous disposition, transmogrifying my storm cloud thoughts into flows of lifeblood for, from cognitive battles long fought. My thoughts now willing to be shared and made collective experience, willing to teach, to spark, to incite, and inspire. But first and foremost, to unleash the beast of my pent up desires. No longer satisfied with pencil pushing pretty pictures, I turn to poetry and the pleasures of exciting word and again. Thank you. All right, this next poem is called uh, Dance With Me. Has anybody ever seen the movie Runaway Bride? Woo! <laughs> I love that movie. Me too. And this this poem was inspired by that last scene, uh, well, one of the last scenes, where she goes to him after he's kind of given up, and she proposes to him. And he doesn't say anything, but he goes and turns on some Miles Davis. It never entered my mind. And he just asked her to dance. I love that. I love that. This is This is inspired by that scene. Heartfelt monologues can set a mood, and flowers may go a long way to say I love you, but if I want to know the extent of your affections, I'll ask you to dance with me. If you take my hand and lean in close, I know that you are completely comfortable with being vulnerable with me. You enjoy being in my arms. You know you're safe here. Your chin bracing my shoulder, and tendrils of your hair grazing my cheeks and my heart in rhythms that only hummingbirds' wings can match in speed and intensity. Though my heart is racing, it's laughing with all the joy in the world. My mind has never been more alert. Not only am I aware of every molecule of my own existence, but every part of your being as well. Your slender legs and graceful feet keeping time with the melody. My heart is still laughing, reciting the lyrics to the, set to the beat I feel echoing in the ambiance. So sway to some old school jazz. Let Miles Davis and Billie Holiday melt the world away. My worries and troubles are no more when your fingers curve around my palms. They disappeared because I'm with you. So don't worry about knowing the steps. Trust me and let me guide you. When I said that I'd save myself for you, I didn't mean just for consummating our marriage. I saved myself for this moment, for this dance with you. Thank you.